What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be testing X Defiant, which is a game by Ubisoft. It's a first person shooter game, multiplayer online, and it's free to play. So if you guys want, you can actually download Ubisoft Connect and download the game for yourself. Today we're gonna be testing it out on an RX 6600 GPU paired with the Ryzen 5 3600 and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM. And you can see all of the specs right here. We're using the latest drivers, which is the AMD's 24.5.1 you can also see that on the top left corner all of the stats are available and you can also see the settings here we are using full screen mode 1080p 144 hertz is my refresh rate maximum it can go and i'm using the maximum settings possible without any frame rate limit as you can see right here everything is to the maximum i've just adjusted the sharpness slider here to seven which i like and let's head right into a match and let's see how it runs all right guys so we are in a match i'm gonna select this healer here this uh this girl is from actually far cry 6 i think and uh they've included the maps from different different games like uh division far cry Watch Dogs, and stuff like that they've included the maps from those games and uh yeah they're successful in this I, in my opinion the game looks and feels really smooth as you can see i'm getting like 100 fps even though i'm at maximum settings possible and i'm at 1080p right now this game feels like very close to Call of Duty series. If you got, if you guys have played actually this uh, Call of Duty series, then you might know that uh, it's really enjoyable and it's free to play, so everybody can play it. Although this game uh, adopts uh, skins and stuff meta, which means that uh, this has a shop and a uh, battle pass and stuff, so you guys can easily like you guys can go ahead and buy stuff in the shop, different skins and stuff. So yeah, they're adopting that method of money making. But it's still very nice. Okay, I've killed the guy and another one is there. I think he died. There might be other people here. So let's try to just uh, frag out here and uh, let's see how we do in this match. Okay, so seems like there might be some guys here. I'm getting 100 FPS most of the times. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, oh my god. I died to stupid person. Okay. So that was bad. But we're getting like 100 FPS most of the times, which is really nice. And there are no hitches. You can see the frame time graph there. All right, that was okay. Oh, I died from the left. I can see that when I'm uh, doing some uh, intensive stuff on the screen, I get some FPS drops in the 90s, which is not very bad. Still very good performance. And you guys can easily enjoy the game on these FPS. It's a very competitive experience in my opinion. And I'm, I've been doing pretty well in this game. To my surprise, I didn't do that well in Call of Duty. But maybe this is a, just the start of the game. So many people have not yet figured out what are the things that are most OP. What are the guns that... Oh my god, where did he come from? So uh, maybe the people have maybe people have not figured out yet what are the OP things in this game. What are the OP weapons, attachments and stuff. So they're still trying to figure that out. And soon they will they will actually be able to figure that out and afterwards it's gonna be a heck of a lot different. That's what I can tell you for sure. Okay, so I barely killed that guy. Oh my god. This guy with a shotgun is just staying up there, so I think I gotta use this. Oh my god! <laughs> I killed him with a revolver. I don't know if this game has a deagle in it or not. He's dead. Another dead. My teammates are stealing my kills, which is not very nice. Let's go up here. There was a guy who was standing up here and camping with a shotgun. Where is the shotgun bastard? Let's try to find him. There's a way to get up here from this side. Okay. You guys are coming. Is everybody dead? No, I'm seeing no enemy now. Where are the enemy players? Oh my god, what the heck was that? Some of the abilities which these characters have in this game are too strong in my opinion. And they need toning down. As the game has just launched, I would like to see some abilities toned down in the future. But still... The game feels nice, so I've not I've got not much complaints regarding that. This map also looks very nice, in my opinion. It's a snowy map, so it feels like it's from the division. Maybe it is. But when the game starts, uh, the game actually tells you from which game or have they included the map. Some of the maps, like the zoo and stuff, are uh, they've actually made I think from the ground up, and they don't mention any game from which the map is from. So yeah. Oh, I got a killer from that. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a grenade. That was a grenade. That was a grenade. No. Oh, my God. Shotgun guy is here. That shot. So, my FPS dropped to 80. Uh, that was not very good. So, this game, I think, doesn't have any kind of uh, upscaler. So, I'm going to try to see if there is anything else that we can use here. No. So, it only has some graphical options and nothing else. Okay. So, this match is over, guys. I'm going to try to decrease the settings now because I got to see. I got to see that uh, how much of a performance can we actually get the maximum that we can get in this game 
in order to be competitive like other people because still my frame rate is not reaching 144 fps and i would like it to reach that because my monitor is 144 and it would feel and play pretty smooth and you would have the minimum input lag possible at those frame rates now if you guys have your uh, yourself a system like this uh, with an rx 6600 and a ryzen 5 3600 you guys can easily play this game uh, this uh, game doesn't use much of the vram as you guys can see at maximum settings possible it's only using 6.5 gigabytes and I have not seen uh, the game go above that right now so I'm gonna change the settings now and I'm gonna go to minimum settings possible in this I'm currently using DX12 renderer if I disable this I think the game falls back to DX11 this uh, this benchmark is actually on DX12 so yeah let's go to low settings and let's see how the game actually looks and how it actually performs alright guys so I've changed the settings everything to the lowest except for sharpness and stuff so everything is to the lowest as you can see right here Resol resolution scaling is at 100% this is 1080p native so sharpening is at 7 and the rest of the settings as you can see right here everything to the low or off okay so let's see the maximum that we can get which is going to be competitive settings for this game at 1080p and afterwards we are going to go to 4, uh, 1440p and uh, we're going to see how it runs so one of the things that I'm observing in this game which is uh, kind of annoying me is that the game actually takes a lot of time to find a match and then go into a match that's pretty annoying you have to stay in the lobby for a long while before you are able to go in a match and this is the Tom Clancy's the division showtime map uh, they've included it in this game and uh, I think this is gonna look pretty good although we are at low settings <laughs> possible lowest settings possible now so yeah let's see the maximum FPS we're gonna get let's select the healer again let's select our loadout with AK alright guys we're in a domination map and I can already see the FPS is pretty high I've not still get uh, I still not got any bottleneck with the CPU as you guys can see my GPU usage is 99 watts maximum possible in this game or anywhere else it's a maximum GPU usage oh my god I just reloaded my gun what the heck happened oh my god I started healing but it didn't work all right uh, let's move on ahead and I'm getting like 175 FPS which is pretty nice I right, got damage assist which means I killed the guy oh my god my kills are being stolen no we're still getting 170 most of the times, 180 sometimes, and uh, going to 190 now when I'm uh, not in an area which is very intensive. All the low graphics, I would say that uh, they are still looking very good. What? My teammate right there? What the heck is happening? So he's getting shot. Let's help him out. Where are these guys actually spawning from? They're spawning right there. I can see them spawn. What are these spawns, guys? Okay. So getting 164 as average, which is pretty nice. Now we're gonna go to 1440p. This tells you the story how this game is gonna perform for you. If you've got a GPU that is a lower end, then uh, still it's gonna run the game pretty good because if you have this power, uh, power of this GPU is gonna give you half the frame rate, which is uh, which you can actually speculate yourself. So yeah, this game is pretty nicely optimized. Although it's not very good looking, it's not very heavy looking. It's good looking, but it's not very heavy looking. And uh, so yeah, no, 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 this is too far. I've got too far inside. All right, we're going to go to 1440p afterwards and we're going to see how it runs. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we are at 1440p resolution now, as you can see right here, full screen 1440p mode. And uh, I've disabled, I've actually turned the settings down to lowest. We're going to start from 1440p low settings now and we're going to move ahead from there. All right, guys, we finally found a match and let's go and select this one again. Okay, this guy match is already running and I think we are losing now. This is the same app as before. Uh, thankfully, this is the same app as before. This will be a head zone comparison. Then we'll be able to see how it's actually comparing. Okay, what the heck did he just hit me with? So we are actually getting the lowest settings possible. We're getting like 120 FPS right now. I've just started counting the frames and the game is pretty stable. You can already see that the game is pretty amazingly stable and there are not many issues with it. Although this guy is sniping from too far and I, I probably want to use a sniper right now. But I'm not gonna dare to do it because I'm recording a video and I need I don't want to focus that much at least okay are there any guys here no it doesn't seem like it is there anyone here everybody just uh, he's dead okay i'm dead too all right so there was somebody standing up there also okay so we're getting 113 fps close to 144 but not quite there i killed him from this far <laughs> getting shot from behind like call of duty all right standing at all the wrong spots 
So we're getting now 112 FPS, which seems like the FPS is decreasing a little bit. I don't know why it's happening. I hit some headshots, but he still killed me. So uh, let's keep on moving, keep on playing, because we're getting some FPS drops right now, which, are, which is not very good. There was a guy just here. Let's kill these guys who are coming in a spawn. Can you see me through the walls? Why is he getting healed so much? All right, he's dead. So I killed him with a grenade. There was a guy camping up here and still there. Killed him. Let's clear all these guys. Oh my god, these uh, shields are too OP in my opinion. What are my teammates doing there? They're not doing shit. Okay, we is the key for that. All right, guys, so it seems like we're getting very good FPS, like 120 sometimes, most of the times. So I'm going to turn the settings up. Let's see that at to very high settings or maximum settings possible what we can get. Let's turn everything to the maximum. All right, guys, so I've turned everything to the maximum. As you can see right here, this is 1440p maximum settings possible. Firstly, we were at competitive settings. Now we're at maximum settings. As you guys can see, we're still getting above 60 FPS uh, most of the times, which is pretty nice. Although it's not going to be very fun because the game is going to eventually drop from 50 F, uh, from 60 FPS sometimes. And this is not going to be very nice. So I captured that point and I just died. So uh, FPS is coming out at 60, 65 FPS average. 1% and 1.1% lows are not that bad. And they're still very nice. What is this guy using? He's, he's gonna kill me so fast. Okay guys, so, so I take my word back. This is not very playable. My FPS is dropping to lower 50s when I'm in battle. So this is not very good. Alright guys, so I think 1440p lowest settings possible is the way to go. If you guys want to play at 1440p. Although I would recommend that you guys use 1080p at lowest settings. And that would net you very nice performance and very good results. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Make a comment about if you enjoyed today's video and or what do you think this game is like and if you enjoyed this game also so i will see you all in the next one happy gaming bye bye